Now on the road to cultivation, there are a lot of dangers and with these dangers, you need a way to survive. And knowing me, I am a very offensive person, so I will obviously pick a lot of offensive skills. So in cultivation stories, we have like a lot of ultimate moves and in this video, I'm gonna pick my favorites out of all of them. There Now the rules are, these techniques are learnable by anybody as long as you are willing to practice with it right so whatever stories these techniques come from it must be learnable cannot be bloodline dependent all right so let's get into it first up on the list is split the freaking heaven split the heavens from nine star hegemon body at Whatever the hell Ichigo have with that man gets so it ain't nothing with split the heavens, all right? It literally means what it says. It, it does what it says. Like the heavens quake every time this freaking move is used. As long as your cultivation is up there, the heavens fear you, my boy. But it does not stop there, folks. It does not stop there. This thing has barrier breaking effects. Let me get this to you straight. This ultimate move can break barriers. It's super stronger against barrier. Like you have a, a equivalent move that is just as powerful as split the heavens, but it would not break a barrier. Split the heavens probably might just break the living crap out that yeah, it's it's that deadly. This technique has everything. So let me let me just break down what this technique is well split the heaven obviously it's a it's a splitting move meaning it's a sword move but not any sword my boy it's a saber technique if y'all know anything about saber or if you don't know anything about saber just think cloud just think huge ass heavy sword now we gonna put a freaking technique behind this all right so what does split the heaven do well split the heavens basically enables you to clash your willpower and your key and whatever else you have in your body against the freaking heavens bro and as i said before this technique the main reason why this technique is so strong one just training with this technique boosts your physical stats like your stats is it's enormous it's it's damn near a body refinement technique at this point now some of you all never heard of this move and Granted, there's a reason for that. It belongs to 9 star hegemon body art, by, and it's mainly used by Long Chen, one of my favorite main characters. And I, can't, I could not live with myself making a list and did not include my boy on here. Honestly, he could have he could have taken most of the spot, but we gotta let a lot of other characters shine. So, Split the Heavens, really, it, it, it it's, it's just such a good move. But also it's such a bad move cause you use that yeah your opponent is probably dead but you're not so good either you're you're damn near on death's door it's an all-out offensive skill this is a last ditch skill this skill is what you use when someone has put you in a corner and you have decided yeah my boy we both died either you die i die but someone's gonna die that's when you bring out this move Right, either that or if a lot of people surround you and decide like they're gonna gang you and all of that, split the heavens will would tell them a different story. Actually, if you check it out, split the heaven is practiced by a bunch of madmen in in the nine star hegemon body art story. Like almost every person who used this art is a literal madman on the battlefield. These people are feared once you know this technique you are feared because of this technique because one only madmen will train in this technique actually like the the technique does what the title said split the heavens the heavens does not like anyone who practice this technique like if you make it a high enough cultivation rank in whatever cultivation world you have as long as it's high enough the heaven sees that you practice this technique it does not like it It'd probably start being mean to you and all of that but as i said there are stronger moves up here well 
there are better moves up here. I doubt there is anything stronger than Spit the Heavens on this list right now. But because of its pros and cons, I'll just leave it at number five. So coming in at number four, we have a nice AoE attack. Since Split the Heavens does not have that, it's good for that direct clash. But as for AoE, it doesn't really have that. But my boy Zoyan from Battle Through the Heavens, yeah, he have all of that. And he got it with the freaking Annihilation Lotus Flame or, or Flame Annihilation Lotus, whatever you want to call it. This move is freaking bonkers. So, like, sure, it's flames, but is it really flames? Like, you get hit by this flame attack. It's it, it's like five different flames. Let me let me show you why this, this attack is just bonkers and very, very different. First up, he has the green lotus core flame, right? That flame it's it, 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 it it's oh my god i don't even know how to explain it then he got the fallen heart flame which he took from the heart of a freaking lava lake volcano magma chip whatever you want to call it he took that then he combines that with a bone chilling flame now a lot of y'all be wondering what are all these flames let's just say you do not want any of these flames to hit you but he's not done yet he has the live transforming flame i don't even know what that flame is probably happened somewhere up in the no in the novel i don't even know what that flame is right and i guarantee you none of these flames you would want to touch you and you know what he's gonna do with that he's gonna combine all freaking three of them and then he's gonna chuck that bitch at you and yeah it's not good for you your clan your village whatever place you it, it's not even good for the freaking donkeys in the goddamn area it's not good for anybody right that's a freaking nuke he it's not even good for him he's not even protected from it he might as well just get hit by it. yeah that move enabled him to walk freely out of the Yunlan sect like multiple times like three different times he charged at and and they're, they're like no we don't want that right so at the, just in terms of just pure aoe this this move is just it, it's 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 disgusting it's one of those moves you do not want to get hit by and sure if if you're a fan of nine star hegemon body you could have said oh long chin has the flame lotus but He's not a pioneer in it, sir. This this man, Zoyan, is a different breed with it. You know what I'm saying? Sure, Longshan probably scales above Zhou but in this story, in Battle Through the Heavens, just the mere fact that this story is one of the goat, it, it got me into Dongwa. I could not make this list without one of my favorite MCs favorite move it is a golden move and as I said, it's a self-created move too. Right? No one taught him this move. Sure, he had the foundation and all of that. But this is one of those moves where it's going to end the fight. It, it re, unless they're like 10 times stronger than you or something like that. Which if you encounter someone like that, I'm, I'm sorry you were just going to die. But this 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 move, would it, it would end a lot of fights. Because it's, just, it's not just one flame. It's freaking one, two, three, four. It's four flames and none of them you want to touch it. It's it's Amaterasu on Stir. This flame has three, four different burning attributes. All lethal. So, but again, it's still a one hit wonder move and you will be drained after that. So I still got to place it at number four. But it's not a bad number four, honestly. It's not a bad number four. It's just that number three is freaking wild. And I, I, I just got to place it there. I, I, number three is just that much stronger. Now, coming up at our number three spot, we have a rare oddity here. Because one, we don't know. Does Even the main character don't know what triggers this. All right. But it's fresh and it's new and it's in town and it's here to stay. So what we going to do about it? 
Yes, at number three, we have the G Realm. Now, a lot of y'all, if you're watching Immortal Renegade, you know what the G Realm is. It just got aired, and our boy Wan Lin got a lot of bodies with it. I'm talking red lightning everywhere. It, it's basically what is the G Realm to most of y'all who are just as gun. It's a dead spell of the highest tier. Like, this spell is deadly you will be unrivaled in the same realm it's a guarantee sure you don't know how to master it but no one knows how to master it. it's something you just get and when you have it it's one of it's it's one of those things that if you get it it's really good but it's really really bad so, but i won't go into spoiler details so i'll just stick to the fun part with this one lane is able to one shot like literally anyone in the same realm and he's he spams it oh yeah he spams it and what you see in the anime it's gonna get way way worse he spams the living crap out of that thing and the thing about the g realm is it's very vague so i can only put it at number three and i don't really have a lot of details on it all i know it's it's red lightning and it one shots anyone in the same realm it's not even fear it's not even funny i honestly i think the author just invented this move to let his character snowball throughout his series this technique is just crazy but because of the cons of it because it does have cons like one it has a set if if you don't want to get spoiled anime only please just go to number two just go to number two on the list it has a limit meaning it once you get it it sets a boundary our uh bottleneck on whatever cultivator that has it and for our boy one lane it will be in the i won't spoil it i won't spoil it. i'll have mercy i'll have mercy but it it has cons in the fact that it takes a lot of resources to rise but in the meantime you get some awesome but you get powers up the wazoo you are literally unrivaled if you are able to keep up with this demand but because of its con uncertainty and it's it's freshly new to me, I gotta give it to number three. I don't, it only gets number three because I really don't want to repeat this list. Otherwise, I would, it wouldn't even be on this list to be honest. But I gotta give my boy one lane something. I gotta give my boy one lane something. Now at number two, we have our boy Bai. And he chose one of the most Har, it's it's one of the most horrifying techniques to learn but i can't fault him for it because this technique is wild and you're you're being like oh it's a water swamp. no i'm not talking about the water swamp water swamp could have been on this list i'm talking about the freaking undying body art or whatever translation y'all have for it this this art is crazy it is insane so all right backstory that did for for anime only watchers i'm sorry y'all don't get spoiled that huge ass red giant that thing is still living in the anime that's a undying body what do you think it, pra it what do you think it practices no, i'm gonna give you a moment yes it practices the undying body uh, this thing will let you live forever even if your soul is dead if you master this thing to the highest degree possible your body is undying you can regen from a freaking blood cell not a drop of blood a blood cell you can regenerate from that alone so as long as you can protect your soul this technique is golden now granted it takes a while to get there it takes a lot of resources and you will feel a lot of pain but in return you get this super it's not even it's not even superhuman it's super cultivation of a body that's what you get right you can literally smash people to smithereens with your loan and i'm talking about cultivators here you can smash them with just lone brute strength with this technique it's lone brute power right this technique is wild because get this it gives you unmatched regen and a, a steel a very durable body you have unmatched endurance but not only that it does not restrict you from learning long range techniques you can learn other techniques while practicing this one it is very op it is very underrated and 
boy uh, like my boy by did not choose wrong with this technique this th this technique is one of those where it's a run on site if you encounter someone with this it does not make sense to fight them if you are in the same realm this technique will outlast you out energy you out heal i don't care what you want to do if you don't have hacks you know someone that te this technique run do not fight them. You are wasting your time and effort. This will not translate well for you. Not only that, you're going to get punched in the face pretty bad. Like That guy can literally rip off his arm, throw it in your face, and self-detonate it, and he can regen it. Right? Let that sink in. The, so, But as I said, it got cons too in the fact that it's hard as hell to trade, so I'll just keep it at number two. But... For my number one, yeah, you you y'all you, won't be too mad with it. Y'all won't be too mad with it. When you see who is in number one, y'all won't be too mad that this is number two. Now at number one, we have like it was obvious that this guy had to make the list. He's been topping dung walls for a minute now. So I had to put him on this. And where else am I putting upset number one? Number one, we have she how with his Kun Peng technique and oh boy this technique is crazy this technique like number one if you don't know anything about Kun Peng's bro just know this they are fast they are fast even within Chinese lore they are unrivaled now you practice the Kun Peng technique and has the Peng wings yeah yeah uh, you're that guy now Get this, the Kunpeng and the dragons, right? They're two heaven-defying creatures. They define the, the heaven in different ways. The, the serpent defied the heavens in, in order to transform into a dragon. The Kun defies the heaven to transform into a peng. Is it a peng? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But anyways, get this. There were once there was once a fight between dragons and kunpengs. And yeah, true dragons be kunpengs. Everyone know this. You know why kunpengs still live? Because they are freaking fast. They are fa the the travel speed on this thing is unrivaled in any I don't care what series you want to read this in. Now you put that on my boy Shihao and boy oh boy he's trouble for everybody. Shihao will wreck your clan and escape with no problems. Right? Not only that, the Kunping has like the Kunping true technique has different different forms. Like he has one that he can devour. He devours other techniques with the Kunping technique. It has magic nullification to an extent in the fact that it can nullify other techniques on top of being able to fight not only that it apparently controls yin and yang i don't know what that i don't know what that means but just know this gods come down from the upper realm to the low not even to the middle realm from the upper realm to the lower realm not the middle realm the lower realm in search of this technique this technique is crazy and because she is the only one that is confirmed to have it once he uses technique everyone tries to kill him for it I mean everyone this technique is one of those ones right so just the mere but not only does it bring you danger but I mean like you're fast as hell so it doesn't really matter you can fly away if you don't want to fight and it's sure it's powerful without even flying away you can literally fight across realms just knowing this technique and you can run across realms just knowing this technique it's a balance right and to a certain extent, the true dragon fails to keep up with the Kunpeng at the earliest stars. But like later on in the dragon's development, the Kunpeng cannot keep up in terms of just raw power. But in terms of raw speed, Kunpeng got that lock and they got plenty of hacks too. Like as I said, he can literally devour other techniques. It is that broken. So... I gotta put it at number one so this this list was fun and all and i plan to do other lists and and sure if y'all recommend some to me i plan to like cover them and it, it it's it was wrong of me to just bring five but hey we can always do another five 
that's all i'm saying it's your boy raikai enjoy the video like look for another one just enjoy yourself overall and peace